Henry versus Aljo. Guys, I'm not done. I'm just not. There was so much that we learned from this fight, including irritating things. Let me give you guys an example. And you've heard this a million times. If you've been following the sport of MMA, you've heard a million times, you're only as good as your last fight. Now, I can't think of anywhere else in the world that that's true. I know it isn't boxing. It's one of the great mistakes that boxing made. It is possibly the true genius that Dana White brought us. And I heard that from a boxing promoter. I can't tell you who. Absolute top boxing promoter said the one thing that Dana White has done, and this was back, this is in 2011, this is before the Fox deal and ESPN's, before what some people would call the explosion. So the one thing that Dana White's been able to do that we've never been able to do is he made losing acceptable. And I never heard these words before. And I said something to, to tee him up, uh, you know, go on, continue, what do you mean? And I just sat back and listened, I learned. And he said, we can't do it in boxing. If you lose three in a row in boxing, you are done. You will never see a main event again. If you lose 10 fights over, oh, you're a bum. They might not even license you. He was just giving an example. If you lost your last fight, you are now not a top contender that's one win away from a championship match. He just started to give examples. He said, you know, you got, you got to take some promising kid, get him with the right promoter. Then you, as the top promoter, got to pay that local regional guy to get this guy to 20-0 and, and bring him back to you. You'll be having him at the bar, at the YMCA, at the dog track. He'll be fighting absolutely nobody. So that's fine. Get it 20-0 and 0 that I could put on a poster. I'll fight him for the WBA championship. I mean, this is what the... He's telling me this. I found that fascinating. Do you guys find that interesting? Was that interesting, what I, what I just said to you? And we have allowed that to happen. We have allowed... I'm only as good as my last fight to happen. I can't remember who it was, but it was the name. If, if I could produce it, you, you know exactly who I mean. And he lost a fight. Somewhere in the last 12 months, he lost a fight. And he said, well, I want to call somebody out. I can't call someone out because I, I lost my last one. And like he had somehow lost the right. He had forfeited the ability to call someone out because of the result of his last match, which here I sit a year later. I'm not trying to be funny. I can't even produce the guy's name. I have no idea who he lost to. I wouldn't know that he lost. None of us know your record. I fought from 97 to 2017. I think that's the longest. I think that's the longest career. I don't know what my record was. I'm not trying to be funny about that. I do not know how many men I fought. I used to say I fought 50 men because it rolled off the tongue. And I had a young man named Lad, Joel's son, got a hold of me and told me it was 51. That might be true. I, I don't know. I went on Sure Dog and it was 49. I'm just sharing with you. No one knows who's winning and losing and all, all of these different things. There's an importance to move on. When you get stuck in the, I'm only as good as my last fight, it's because you stick yourself there. Nobody said that about you. Nobody said that it has to be true. It's one of the things that I loved about Henry Cejudo, the fights on Saturday. By the time I came to you guys on Monday morning at 8 a.m., he'd already called out Marab. Not only had he called him out, he had a date which was in Boston. I think that that's good stuff myself. I like the idea of moving on. I like the idea of moving on quickly. There's championships that guys want to win. But they get so close to that, they think that we're there with them. They, they don't understand there's fights that we want to see. The championship, is, and that's a big deal. Championship's a huge deal. I don't want to diminish it, but it's a byproduct. It's a byproduct of success in a match that we wanted to see, right? You can back everything down. They do this in politics. They're, they're, they're very good at doing it. People, people get paid millions of dollars, right? There's an election every four years and somebody's driving around a Mercedes, you can't figure out how. Well, it's really important that you can analyze these numbers. It's not just who's going to win the election, who's going to win the straw poll. You got to break it down. Who's going to win these states? Who's going to win women? 
Who's going to win college graduates? And you can break it all the way down to something known as a precinct. A precinct is the smallest dot on the political map, but you got to be able to break it down to that. You will get focus groups before a guy goes on a national ad campaign. You'll get a focus group of 15 people. You'll see how many of them liked it, how many did it. Of those that liked it, were they men? Of those that didn't, were they women? What are the commonalities? You'll, you'll start tying all these things together. You get it to these really small groups. And I'm just sharing that with you because when you're looking at the sport of MMA, it's not about your championship that you're, you're so tied to. It's not about what kind of money you're making. Those are all byproducts of you being in a fight that we wanted to see. Everything ties down to that. And I'm very glad that Henry called out Marab because that is a match that we want to see. Marab wouldn't accept it. Marab's talking about, I'm supposed to have hand surgery. I'll cancel the surgery to come and fight you. And he meant it. It wasn't just a tough guy thing to say. Marab was serious. Like, everybody wins here. Henry versus Volkanovsky, by the way, is still a very interesting match. I'm not supposing for you can leave a weight class and go up. But I'm just, I'm reminding you that there's fights that we want to see. What's on the line and what y'all get and where you're placed on the card and whose face is bigger than the other one on the poster? These are byproducts. Don't forget that. And I see guys tying themselves into an ideal that they created. And I have thought about what that boxing promoter said. And Dana did do that. Dana did make losing acceptable. And in every other sport, it is. I watched the Patriots win three Super Bowl championships. I had to watch them. Stephen Neal was with them. I watched them win three championships. But they lost games every season. They were talking about three-time champions. Talking about three-peat. But they weren't they were talking about being undefeated. They didn't go a season undefeated or two years unbeaten or three years unbeaten. LeBron James does a really great job. He'll, he'll drop a game on Tuesday, come back and win on Thursday. In the NBA World Championship Series, There'll be a team that lost twice within the week. Another day that same week, they're dropping glitter out of the sky and holding up trophies saying they're the best in the world. This guy's the best in the world. I why on Thursday he got beat. By the way, on this Monday before that, he got beat also. I watched Michael Phelps win 21 gold medals in an Olympics, but he raced 22 events. I'm just sharing for you. It's a really weird thing that you're only as good as your last fight. It's a really weird thing. It's a really weird thing to get tied to that. It's a really weird thing to accept that. And I do think about what that boxing promoter said. And he was so impressed that Dana was able to do it. But how did Dana do it? I thought about this many years. How did he do it? Did he do it? It happened. That's it. Did he do it? Was it a strategy? Did he set out? For this, did he just not have enough guys under contract? And he just kept forcing them back in there, and the wheel just kept moving. And this set him with the psychology. I don't know. All of those things are possible. But if you do break things down, you keep on backing them up till you get to the smallest common denominator. Don't ever forget within this sport, it's not belts, it's not commas, it's not placement, it's not rankings. It's you being in fights that we want to see.